as always, my name is Brandon Polito, realtor with the Prasad Group. This is a five to six optional bedroom home. We have six actually uh, as of now, three to four baths. So as soon as you walk in, if we head to the left from the main entrance, we're gonna see our initial bedroom with our full bath initially, right? Keep in mind now, this is the first and only full bath that we have on the first floor. I'm gonna show you a half bath back this way, but check out the bedrooms to the left first. More details, this is actually just under 3,200 square feet. Sorry for not saying that at the beginning, but let's get uh, straight to the breakdown of what, what this actually costs, the way you see it. So keep in mind every little feature, keep in mind of the hardwood flooring, the um, tiling all throughout the home, the backsplash in the kitchen. Let's get into this. Like I said, this is two stories. So directly here is our half bath. Sorry for the door being a little closed. <laughs> here we go. All right, now before we go upstairs, I want you guys to take a look at this beautiful, beautiful uh, first floor. Obviously we have our entertainment space here, living directly connected with the kitchen. So even if you're standing on the far, all the way over there, everybody still feels more than connected. I love how uh, much natural light is actually being shown. So if you turned around, we'll show you what the good stuff is, which is actually the pool. All right, leave a comment how much you think it would be to build a pool just like this. We're gonna head outside, but first let's keep going and we'll get a closer look to the actual kitchen. So follow me and we'll do that. Here we are, as always, pretty standard. They have 42 inch cabinets all throughout. I don't know if these are soft touch, but I'm gonna hope we'll do a little test. And we lit, come on, that's what I like. Um, although I don't know if they have the option for this to be gas, I'm gonna assume in this community, everything that they have is actually supposed to be eco-friendly. So I'm gonna tell you right now, as far as this being able to change, it won't. Um, you know, that's kind of the whole theme that they're doing. So take a look at the island, of course, it's granite, completely beautiful. Um, another little touch that I like as well is this little pantry space. I don't know if you guys caught it at the beginning, but they had a little uh, coat room with the same styling, uh, you know, see-through, love it, double door ovens here as well. So I know I told you guys as well what the pricing was. So everything the way you see it, we still haven't even gone upstairs yet, but the base price for this house without these upgrades, without the pool, you're looking at about $700,000. So let's go outside really quick. And then we're gonna head upstairs because I know this is what you want to see, but me personally, I like the upstairs better. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Once again, we're at the back of the home, but in the front is actually where we have a second story balcony, which I absolutely love. This is a huge, huge pool. This is perfect for more you know, entertainment throughout the weekends, even through the week. This is just an example of what one of the lots are looking like. So keep in mind, if that base price was $700,000, to add this pool would actually cost 150 dollars on top of that, right? Now, further details, you guys can see the huge space that we have out here, another $150,000 for the actual lot. So besides the house, we're looking at, so far, uh, what's that, like 300,000, right? And just upgrades, and actually no, 300,000 for the pool and the lot. So like I said, what I want you guys to keep in mind is all the upgrades that we have inside, and that's actually gonna run you another 100,000. So I'll let you guys go on first. And you can finally follow me upstairs. All right. I would love to be as thorough as I can, but they actually converted this room over here, which would technically be the garage as a, a sales office. So we're gonna go upstairs and we'll pretty much see what the rest of the bedrooms are looking like and all the other bathrooms. So meet me up there and we're gonna get this going. All right, so first impressions, you see the structure and flow of this home. Directly uh, in front of me is actually the master. Here is actually our laundry area. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you come in a little deeper, we do have a sink as well. So option for water. Let me head out of here so you guys get a better view. Right? Um, I told you guys what my favorite thing is, and it's this way, which is actually that balcony area. So we'll take a look at this, you know, makeshift loft, right? We'll see everything is still completely hardwood all throughout. Pay attention. These are actually eight foot doors on the second story only. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna let you guys take a look outside. I'm telling you, this is absolutely what I love. I know that anybody seeing this house, this exact model, this is for me, the selling point besides the pool. And guess what? The balcony doesn't cost $150,000. So let's go back inside, take a look at the rest of the bedrooms and let's get this going. All right, there we go. 
Um, as far as further information and details, right? If you don't like the configuration of the home, the upgrades, feel free to reach out to me. I'll actually give you, you know, all the color schemes, the palettes, everything that they do offer for this home, we'll get into. So um, we did not go in here. And this is our initial master, right? Everybody take a look. Ample uh, views of the actual backyard, right? Like I said, I like the fact that the balcony is actually in the front of the house, not in the back. Um, although two would have been better. So let's take a look at this luxurious uh, master bath with a floating tub here. Frameless shower as well. Look how huge this is. And keep in mind guys, this is just great, great quality. That's, that's the whole thing. When I come here, I look at this, the accent seeing that the tiling goes all the way up to the ceiling. You know what I mean? When it comes to the price, this is why it costs this, right? So um, another thing I didn't mention, if we head here, there's actually gonna be our walk-in closet. I'm gonna loop around. All right, so I tried to loop around because I thought this closet did loop, but that's actually where the toilet is, but still very ample spacing. We have our crawl space up here. So if we pan up, this is what we're looking at. Um, if I could go up there and show you guys, trust me, I would, but I don't wanna get in trouble. All right, head back here. Okay. Now we're gonna head this way, right? We're gonna see pretty much what the rest of this has. What you see right here is also upgrade. As you can see, sliding, right? I forget the actual terminology for this, but keep in mind, it's an upgrade. So, like I said, right here is actually our barn door. Keep in mind, this is another upgrade. So I do love this styling, right? I see other builders actually have this as an office space where they include these doors, but take a look. You know what I mean? It's up to your imagination what this room would be for you and your family. You see how they have this configured? I don't know who's sleeping here, but it ain't gonna be me. So let's take a look back this way, right? I want you guys to see also an overlook on how the stairwell flows. You guys let me know your opinion, if you like the color, the color scheme of the home, and especially these barn doors, because I know not everybody is a fan of them. So we have options. I love making decisions, so we can go this way, this way, or this way. Which one do you want to go? We're going to head this way first. Alrighty, this is another great idea of what the, you know, what one of the secondary bedrooms are going to look like. You see how they have it styled. Um, more than enough natural lighting. As you guys see, that's a repeated theme throughout this home. The lighting is just absolutely fantastic. That's why as well, I love the way that they structured it. Here, another full bath. So go inside there, take a look. Look at the countertops, dual sinks, right? Tiling all throughout. I think that's a hexagonal on the floor. Tiling all throughout as well. I love it, absolutely. And one thing I do like as well, is that not every room, uh, every bathroom just has the shower and tub. We have standing showers. So, you know, I know some people as well, maybe people that are a little bit older, that could be a hassle, but luckily, you know, they take that into consideration. So this is one of our last bedrooms. Once again, we can still view just like the other side, the pool area. We have another walk-in mini kind of closet. I'm gonna head back this way. So you guys get a clear view of everything, but you know, all in all, this home is just super, super solid. Keep in mind the way you see it. This is not base price. This is after all the upgrades that you can possibly do to this house. And yeah, keep in mind as well. I think we're actually, yeah, I think we're pretty much wrapped up. I hope that, you know, you guys enjoyed this video. Thought the information that I provided is very valuable. But what's more important than this actual house is the area. Keep that in mind, guys. Their plan for this whole community is to literally take over all of Lake Nona. So if you guys are familiar with Laureate Park, which I'm actually gonna visit and do some further videos, get some research for you guys, they're literally planning on having, I believe it was like over 16,000 homes built in this whole area, which honestly to me, that sounds like growth and equity over the few years. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. They have a 20 year long plan. So I'm rambling just a bit, but I'm super excited to show not only the house, but to let you guys know that I'm bringing you to the, one of the best, uh, you know, future developing communities in all of Orlando. So keep that in mind, all right? We're gonna head back down. I'm gonna wrap up this video and we'll pretty much be out of here, all right? All right, everybody, so we're pretty much done. I know I've been sticking to lower price point homes, you know, for the most part for my content, but this is just one tour I said. This is a great opportunity as far as the area and community goes. So even if this home you may feel is a bit pricey, a bit more expensive, I'm telling you, reach out to me because there's a reason why I showed this home is because anybody that's interested in this area is definitely, you know, on the right track. So feel free to reach out for me, to me and the team. My name is Brandon Polito. 
I'm a realtor with the Passat Group over here in Orlando, Florida. I appreciate you watching more than ever. And I'm gonna go jump in this pool, all right? Take care, guys.